Hey, Happy New Year! I'm back. I thought as a uh, first video of the year, let's take a look at the last year, kind of a summary thingy, and then talk a little bit about my plans for the next year. And I'll show you some pictures too. It was a good year, like I had my solo exhibition, my third solo exhibition, the beginning of the year. Uh, I made some excellent photography trips to different parts of mostly in Finland. I made my first zine, <laughs> sold out in 20 minutes. Um, so it was a good year from the photography point of view, but especially I enjoyed it. I, I keep on enjoying photography tremendously and and it's my way to recharge my batteries and I'm I'm so grateful for everything that photography is bringing into my life. It's it's like a way to look at the world. And when you squeeze things into this four times sorry six times six screen you know everything looks so much better <laughs> a bit philosophical what comes to numbers I shot over 200 rolls of medium format film and several hundred sheets of four times five sheet film so only medium format and large format most popular film brand was ill for FP4 43 rolls and the second I was a bit surprised it was form up on 100 because it's really affordable 40 rolls I shot about 200 sheets of 4 times 5 also mostly form up on 100 and 400 then the most used camera if you would have asked me if you had asked me what is my most used camera I would have said that it's really Flex 2.8F and actually it is I took about 600 pictures with my roller flex 2.8F but if I combine my Hasselblad system you know the different lenses this you know Hasselblad both this one and then my super wide that is the most used brand I took 700 Hasselblad pictures that was a surprise to me it's an excellent camera, but I did not know, didn't realize that I take so many pictures with my hustle, but nothing wrong with that. I mean, but and then my my Kiev, also that like 400 pictures with my Kiev. Uh, I think from the photography point of view, maybe my best experience was those was four days with Kari Paukola in the lighthouse island Isokari in August. That was an awesome trip. We had some some extremely violent storms there but also some calm days and when you have a photo trip like that where you can spend a bit longer you are not rushed into taking pictures but you can take your time. Also there by the way I found Berger, Berger Pancro 400 film and really started to love it. I didn't take a look at how many pictures I took it with it. Probably not that many, but you know, it's it's a it's a marvelous film. Mostly, I use Rodinal as a developer, and and it's been kind of maybe a bit more moody and grainy from the artistic point of view than some other years. I printed about 100 images in my dark room. You know, different sizes. Some of them I framed. I also sold quite a few of these. Uh, which is awesome that you people keep on buying my modest pictures. Uh, I've gone totally black and white. Not only on these videos, but with my photography. It's not planned. It's just that I love the process and outcome. And black and white sort of at least currently it's the way I prefer it and I made some videos back in the days about why I think black and white photography is why I like it and what's the difference and I still think the same I put the link up there because I think it's not a very good video but I think there is something about it like how black and white distances me as a photographer from the subject and emphasizes the artifact, the actual picture. This is not a city view, 
This is not my hometown. This is a picture of my hometown. <laughs> Once again, a bit philosophical. Let me show you some pictures from last year that I personally like. <laughs> Hey then, 2024, I, I hope the world uh, gets better. It's been a devastating year from the political point of view and what's happening in the world. But yeah, what comes to my photography, <laughs> I'm a planner in my life. I do Excel sheets, I make scenarios, I... Uh, you know, I built all kind of crafts and, and, you know, lists and whatnot. That also tends to creep into my photography. And a few years ago, I even made a video, you know, like this, in the beginning of the year, where I listed some of my potential goals for the year. I did hardly any of those. And I realized then that that's not the way for me to conduct my photography. It's not through planning, it's not through systematic work, but it's more through experimentation, going with the flow and enjoying the process. So my plan for this year is really to enjoy more and go where my instincts make me go, whatever that might mean. I'm currently thinking that I'd like to spend more time in, the, in my dark room and just print pictures. Maybe I make another zine, maybe I make a book, let's see, I got some ideas. And I just, you know, going out to the nature, to the city, you know, work with people and take more photographs. Just push the envelope. Be more... Kind of be more brave in terms of trying my limits. I think that's what I'd like to do. I won't make a plan now, but that's what I, I'm... Ah, let's see what, what happens. Um, and I started that already. So as I said, I'm gone totally black and white. But my first roll this year was a color roll. So that was a New Year's Day. And it's been extremely cold. The whole December has been probably the coldest that I remember ever living in Finland. Uh, it's now uh, January 2nd. It's almost minus 30 degrees outside. You know, the deer come on our yard and eat our apple trees and, and I need to have the fireplaces on all the time to keep the house warm. <laughs> I could do it with electricity, but also with these weathers, electricity prices uh, skyrocket, so I burn wood. I like what it looks like. So, a New Year's, uh, you know, a New Year's Day, I went out. It was also, you know, well below 20 degrees centigrade. Took my hustle plot and some expired Fuji Pro 160. This roll expi had expired already 2007. So I, it's an ISO 160, but I shot it with ISO 100. And I went to the mall parking lot in a freezing cold in the sunshine, and I took pictures of 
I don't know how you call them, the structures at the parking lot, and I kind of like them. So this was a first roll of film, and let's see what else happens this year. These are the pictures. Thanks for joining again. Um, next time, something else. See you around.